In the beginning, there is hope. There are dreams. So many possibilities. The anticipation of joyful times ahead and a meaningful life. But for some, things turn terribly dark. Abuse or neglect that lead to anger and fear. Mental health challenges or emotional behaviors spinning out of control. The diagnosis of developmental or intellectual disabilities. None of it is fair. All of it is overwhelming. Often, it seems only a miracle will help. We didn't get along that well with my mom's boyfriend. He, he would used to beat me all the time. He wouldn't beat my brother for some reason. I guess it's because he was older and could do something about it. But ever since then, it's been rough. And so they got divorced and we had to go to a foster home because my, of what my mom did with the drugs and stuff. So I'm eight and I've been in 12 different foster homes since then. When I was three, I was in a lot of trouble. My mom was never home, so I had no one to care for me, meaning I had to provide for myself, which is really wasn't really much. I was in a neighborhood where gunshots were fired all night. My mother wasn't providing care for me, and eventually a foster care system had pulled me out and placed me in the home. And ever since, I've been throughout foster homes. At Devereaux, Florida, we see miracles happening every day. The warm, caring people of Devereaux believe in the dream of a meaningful life for all people. Children who arrive here have suffered more tragedy, disappointment, and pain in their young lives than most of us will endure in a lifetime. Billy's grandmother took him and his younger brother into custody when Billy was three because his parents habitually used drugs. After running away from foster care three times, he was brought to Devereaux. They told me about this being a pre-independent living program where it shows you how you can succeed without the help of other people being there and that you can do it on your own and you can be much more responsible for yourself, you can look out for yourself. And it teaches you basics of life. I've taken much liking to this program. I'd rather be home as any other kid with their parents. And hopefully, once I'm out of here, I'll be back in my regular high school where I started off at. We get in good grades and hopefully go to college. We just put him on the job list, so he's able to start looking for a job now, which means that we trust him to go out in the community now and he's turned his grades around from straight F's and D's to um, he made the honor roll the last term in, in his school. Antoine spent 21 days in jail. On the day of his release, he waited, but his mother never showed up. With no family to help and no place to stay, Antoine was taken to Devereaux. Devereaux showed me a better perspective of what I could do than what I was doing when I was not in here. Showed me a better way to live and a better way to keep myself positive instead of being out on the streets and doing wrong. Besides working with children with behavioral problems, Devereaux, Florida is the premier provider for dual diagnosis. That's a combination of intellectual disabilities as well as mental illness. We take a comprehensive approach using applied behavioral analysis as well as cognitive behavioral therapy. These treatment modalities provide the support, skills, and training enabling individuals to successfully step down into a less restrictive setting. From very early childhood, Melissa was violently aggressive, self-destructive, abusive to others, and totally out of control. By the time she turned 14, it was necessary to send her to a placement home. We had to go to several different placements, and none of them worked. They all sent her back, didn't want to work with her, and they would keep sending her home. Fell into this place, Deverell, and uh, that's when the real help finally arrived. The first thing I got to Deverell, I was pretty much out of control. I wouldn't 
wouldn't do anything. I pretty much was a screaming banshee, pretty much. I pretty much just wouldn't listen to anybody. I just would do anything I wanted, not listen. I remember when Melissa was first admitted to Devereux, Florida. She was aggressive, self-injurious, and abusive towards staff. She would hit them, kick them, bite them. Um, I do remember one specific incident when she ran to her room uh, with a sharp object and started gouging out her forearm. Uh, fortunately, she, with her treatment at Devereux, she has come a long way and is successful, and I'm, we're very proud of her. The staff listened to us, and what, with what they learned, they, they took it. They, they were relentless in helping keep Melissa um, in a safe environment, in a protected environment, and and continue to work with her without, without requiring more than she can handle. We are extremely proud of our record of success. and We share in the joy of each child who is helped. Each child is unique, so they receive an individually designed treatment plan, focusing on strengths and needs. That's why the treatment works. Our dedicated staff, community partners, board members, and volunteers remind the children every day that there are adults who care and who will not give up on them. I truly believe this is God's work. There's nothing more rewarding than to see the light of life reignite in a child who has given up. Many children who are in foster care were removed from a home that was no longer safe. A child in Florida is abused or neglected every four minutes. By the time you've finished watching this program, it will have happened again. Jeff and Kathleen Hawkins were foster parents and have since adopted three children. We found um, that going through Devereaux, who, who we discovered, I mean, just out of chance, that this, may, this was going to be the greatest thing because it was just so easy and there were so many kids that were available here in the States and we actually were blessed with the meeting of this, this precious little girl. And we met her, and when we met her, unfortunately, at that time in her life, she was in a group home um, with a lot of older children. And I looked at my husband and I said, you know what, I don't know if it's for a day or if it's gonna be for a month or if it's gonna be for a year, but we have to bring this child into our home. Thank God we were blessed enough to be able to um, adopt her about a year and a half later, and um, she's become a wonderful part of our family. A few months later, Jeff and Kathleen were told about Rachel, and after a short while, they had adopted their second child. Even so, the family was about to grow once again. The day after Christmas this past year, we got another call, and the timing was just right, and it was for a beautiful boy, and it was actually the first baby that we actually got to take straight from the hospital, which was just a wonderful blessing, and it filled such a void that I personally had because I have never been able to hold a newborn um, or love a newborn or get up five times in the middle of the night with a newborn. And though they all come from you know, different biological parents and they are all um, from different ethnic backgrounds, um, they are all a wonderful part of our family and um, we're very, very blessed to have them. Thanks to Devereaux, the Hawkins family has been able to be foster parents and then adopt three children. We know we've reached a child when they begin to dream again. And at Devereaux, Florida, we share their dream of a meaningful life for all people. For more information on Devereaux services and how you can help, please visit us at DevereauxFL.org.